if working on your game fills you with stress and anxiety, something is wrong. I've been looking for the cause of this problem and I found more than one. Most of them have to do with how you approach game development. Let's explore all these causes and make game dev fun. Problem 1. Time. I think we're not giving ourselves enough time to create the games we have to create. I think we all got into game development because we had a crazy game idea that we realized would take too long to make and would need way too many resources. So then you decide to make smaller games, which makes sense. But your mind plays a trick on you. You tell yourself, well, since I'm making a game so small, I should really only dedicate a small amount of time to it, maybe a week maximum. That is a disaster. You need time. And listen, I'm not telling you to make bigger games. I'm telling you to keep making small, very simple games, but give yourself way more time. And that sucks. That feels boring, I know, but it isn't, because you're learning. You're learning how to have fun while making your games. You're only gonna learn that if you give yourself time. And in case you are more experienced and you have more projects under your belt, you still might be giving yourself less time than you need. Otherwise, you would probably be making your game already. Art needs time. Time is a very important aspect of game development and you need more of it. Problem 2. Focus. This one is probably the hardest to fix, but unfortunately it's the most important. <laughs> As game developers, we get excited about many things. Most of those things unfortunately have nothing to do with the game we are creating. And I know it sucks, but I think you have to focus only on the game you are creating currently. I mean, theoretically you have infinite time after you're done with the project to mess around with the things you want, but as you're working in a project, you have to focus on it and only really learn the things that are going to help you in this project. Now you could say learning is always good, even if it has nothing to do with your project. But actually, when you're working on a project, you are practicing the most important skill of any game developer finishing projects. And when you learn things that are related to your project, you will finish it faster. And more importantly, when learning things that are related to your project, you apply immediately. If you learn something that has nothing to do with your project, you may be tempted to try and apply it somewhere. And now you've got a conflict in your head because you should be working on your project, but you're not. So even learning can be detrimental when it's not serving your project. Anything else, I don't even have to talk about them, right? Anything else that, is, that has nothing to do with your project might just be getting in your way. You need focus. By the way, if you struggle with learning game development, I have to recommend Zenva to you. They are sponsoring the video today, but I honestly recommend. Zenva is a really interesting platform because they mix both video courses with interactive puzzles and quizzes to make learning fun and practical. Furthermore, you will work on real projects, building games in different genres like open world, RPG, FPS, all of those. Zenva has courses about Godot, Unity, Unreal, Python, and other tools. You only need one subscription to access all of those, and you have a 7 day free trial. And Zenva prepared a special deal for you guys, which is 20% off in the first year. And that's on top of any existing discounts you may have already. This offer is valid for the first 50 of you who click on the link on the pinned comment, or the description. Thank you so much Zenva. Problem 3. Perfectionism. There is no secret to this one. You have a huge ego, you want everything to be perfect, you don't want to make mistakes, you get stuck because making mistakes is absolutely necessary and it's part of the process. Everybody's talked about this one, but I feel like this goes way over your head all the time. I'm mostly talking about my experience, but I feel like you've been through the same. Honestly, man, to fix this one, it's more of a spiritual thing. You know, you just have to train yourself to let go of yourself, right? Let go of your ego and make mistakes. <laughs> Problem four, passion. This one is very personal to me. Um, I feel like all the time I want to create games as fast as possible. And then I have to let go of cool ideas that would take a little bit more time. I want to make everything as optimized as possible and then I end up I end up forgetting why I'm making the game. The game idea that is super simple to make, fast to make and will get results is nothing that I want to play. So maybe I just forgot about the passion, you know? I optimized my way to dullness. As we know, 
the games that we really want to make are probably too complex to accomplish. But you need to find an idea that really excites you and moves you forward. This also helps with focus because I think you can't focus on things you don't like. Because I believe enjoyment is the fuel for focus and concentration. I think you're gonna make the best game when you find this balance. And I think you're gonna have the most fun. Okay guys, uh, as a final tip, I think I'm gonna leave you with treat game development as if you were playing a game. I do this all the time, you know, I'm leveling up, I'm building my base <laughs> when I'm actually just creating the player script. Th that's how I treat game development most of the time and it makes it way more fun to me. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good time making games and I see you next time.